Hi, Chris Shank here to talk about the crop changeover on a split row planter between uh, soybeans and corn. So the first thing we do is we take our bulk fill connection loose, we put our plug in place. Next we're going to remove the, the yellow plug for a vac from our storage location on the row unit. Bring it over to our vac hose. Plug off our vac hose like that, and we're going to reset our latch pin. Now we're going to go and raise the row unit up with the display. So on our split row planters, we're in the corn configuration right now. We're going to release the latch pin for the row unit to change over to soybeans. We're going to pull out the vac plug on the soybean row, the yellow plug. We're going to store it in the arm on the parallel link. We're going to come over to our other mating row unit and remove the red bulk fill plug and store that in the cab. And then we're going to go to the display and lower the row unit. So when switching from soybean fertilization to just corn as well, when we switch the row units over, we also need to shut off the fertilizer valve. And then when we switch from corn over to soybeans and we want to put in for row fertilizer in the soybean row, we turn the valve on. So we saw how the row unit moved and how we changed over between corn and soybeans and soybeans to corn. Now we're going to look at the display and what's needed to be done inside the cab. So now we're going to navigate to the remote area on the display to go through the frame function and move the split rows accordingly. So when we're going from uh, soybeans to corn, we're going to go through and raise the split rows by utilizing back, hitting OK, recognizing what's going on here for the warnings. And now we would remove, re pull back on the remote lever, and the row unit would lift. When we want to go the other direction, we select lower the split rows to go from corn to soybeans. Again, acknowledge our, our messages here, and then lower the row units. If you need more information on this, please contact your Case IH dealer or reference the operator's manual.